Hi, my name is Melissa Daniels and I have strabismus. And this channel is all about life with strabismus and how to overcome the different obstacles. And today I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about strabismus surgery. A big question that I get is what can I do after my strabismus surgery to help get that eye position locked in, keep my eyes straight or get them to be more straight to just help with the healing process. And I have a lot of tips for you, some different ideas for the types of exercises that might be beneficial after the surgery. Of course, you wanna check with your doctor on what they recommend for you. This is just what I did and what I experienced and what helped me in that process. Before we jump in, I wanna make sure you know that you can go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com to get a lot of the different resources that I have to offer. You can sign up for a Zoom call with me. You can get one of my courses or get one of the free downloads that can help you know how to navigate your own vision journey. All right, now let's jump into what to do after your strabismus surgery. So we're gonna talk short-term and long-term because it's going to be very different. The idea is that when you get surgery, the surgeon is cutting and reattaching your eye muscles so that your eye position is straight, which is super helpful for a lot of people. The problem is it doesn't do anything with getting your brain to use those eyes together and coordinate those muscles. And so doing some vision therapy or eye exercises after the surgery is gonna be really beneficial, just like doing physical therapy after a knee surgery is really important. Same thing with your eyes. If you are within the first week or two after the surgery, you're probably freaking out about whether or not it was a good eye position and if it's gonna stay or, or go again. And I, I know like all of us kind of have that same struggle. And there are a couple things that you can do in those first few days to really help with both symptoms and with that long-term recovery. So the first thing is to focus on keeping your distance or your vision in the distance, not at near. That means try to stay off your phone as much as possible. Um, make phone calls instead of texts, different things like that that keep you off of your phone. Um, don't read in a book, listen to an audio book and try to look more in the distance. And the reason for this is that when you're looking in the distance, your eyes diverge slightly, but really they're more in like a straight position. And when you look near, your eyes are turning in. And if you have strabismus, they, they're probably not doing this in a coordinated way, but this like near is just a really forced eye position. And we don't wanna be doing that within those first couple weeks. We wanna just kind of let the eyes heal in that natural resting position. And so give your eyes the best chance for healing by keeping that distance vision open. The most important thing you can do after that surgery is to just take care of yourself and let your eyes heal and rest naturally. Um, some people have loved the supplement Arnica that has helped with the healing process. You can eat really healthy, get plenty of sleep, drink lots of water. All of those things are going to help your eyes and those muscles heal and just give you the best chance for success. So focus on those things more so than trying to jump, get out the Brock string or Vectograms or VR, like all of these things that maybe you were doing before surgery just give it a few weeks, wait until, you know, your vision therapy office tells you it's time, but you know, usually you aren't, you aren't going to have that first visit with them until a few weeks later. And so it's like, Oh, in the interim, I'm just going to like get started. Just, just wait, just let it be. I promise you want to just let your eyes heal naturally without forcing it into doing all these different things. The last thing that I would focus on in those first few weeks, if you have to do an eye exercise because you just can't stand it, is you focus on peripheral. Focus on looking at something in the distance or something you know across the house and then being aware of what else you can see at the, at the same time simultaneously. That's going to help lock in that peripheral fusion, which is gonna be a little bit rocky there in the first few weeks as your brain is adjusting to the new eye position. The brain was probably using both eyes per, for peripheral vision before the surgery, and now you've got this new eye position and the brain has to kind of refigure that part out. Um, you may, depending on the type of strabismus, you may be getting your central vision fused, you might have double vision, like there's a lot of variation, but everyone has to refigure out that peripheral because it's not gonna make as much sense when your eyes are not in the same position that they were before. So doing some peripheral exercises could definitely help as long as you're not like looking at something right here and then doing the peripheral. You want, like I said before, focus 
out. And so peripheral is going to definitely help with that and help get some of that fusion going to help lock in a straight position. My mastering peripheral course would be perfect for this time. I teach a few different techniques and give some basic exercises and ways to just live your life to help incorporate that peripheral vision. Super beneficial and if you've gotta be doing something, I get it, that's what you wanna focus on. Nothing central, nothing small, tiny details up close. Don't do any of that until you get that permission from your doctor, your vision therapist. It's not gonna be helpful at this point. After you've passed those first few weeks after surgery, it's time to maybe jump into a little bit more intense therapy. And this is best done at a vision therapy office. I highly recommend going to an office. That's what I did. Super helpful for getting that full recovery. They're gonna help build that strong foundation there and then work your way up to those finer skills with your central vision. They will probably start peripheral work on fusion where you're getting both eyes to work together Maybe they'll use VR. VR was super powerful for me after surgery. I used Vivid Vision and man, that made the biggest difference. Um, the, there's programs, Equal Eyes is another VR program, Optics Trainer, I'll put links in the description, but VR really helped my brain lock into the new eye position and get that stereo working again because after my surgery, I lost a lot of what I had gained in vision therapy and I had to rebuild. And it went a lot faster, but virtual reality made a huge difference. So, but definitely recommend looking into virtual reality after surgery. Um, you know, a lot of offices are gonna use that. Um, you can even get your own headset and do it at your own house, which is amazing. So there's a lot of different options there. You're gonna also be wanting to do like some eye stretches, making sure that you get those eyes moving in all directions comfortably because it's gonna you're gonna feel that strain and that tug especially if you're going the opposite direction of what the surgery was fixing right you don't want a ton of scar tissue build up so keeping those eyes in motion and moving in all directions is going to be really important at this stage as well one big thing to remember is that every single person with strabismus is so different after surgery you get so many like such a huge range of different people you've got people who have the surgery and then all of a sudden they have like their double vision is gone and they can see single and with depth and everything's amazing. Then you get somebody who didn't have double vision and all of a sudden they do have double vision and or they can see single for three feet and then after that it's double. Or you get somebody who's got really confused peripheral, right? Like there's so such a variety of ways that your brain and body can respond to a strabismus surgery. So that's why I keep stressing the importance of talking with your ophthalmologist finding a good vision therapy office, those people are gonna really be able to help guide you based on your specific struggles that you're having with your vision. No matter what you do, just remember to just give it time, give yourself space. If you didn't get the result you want, you might feel disappointed and that's okay, that's part of being a human. And give it time, things are gonna change over time. Within those first six to eight weeks, Lots of changes are gonna occur, but even for the first year, my eyes continue to slowly move out. So give it time and just give yourself some space for waiting for all those results to kick in. Hopefully this helps. And if you've had a strabismus surgery, hopefully you're able to get that fusion after surgery and gain some depth perception. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.